in honour of Victoria Wood's birthday and of course a happy festival. I'm going to bring you the ultimate dinner ladies dish right now and that of course is the spotted dick but of course with that nutty twist. First of all all you need for this is 125 grams of self-raising flour, 60 grams of suet and a pinch of salt. We're going to add to that 90 grams of dried fruit, currants, sultanas, whatever you can get hold of really. Put those straight into your mixing bowl. Mix your lemon and orange zest goes in there as well. And then 40 grams of caster sugar. Now there's a lot of, not a lot of really uh, sweetness in there because all the sweetness in this recipe comes from the raisins really. So really they're nice, juicy and plump. That goes straight in there. And it is as simple as this, just simply mix all this together. And then you want to add now the wet ingredient, which is just basic milk. So we've got 80 millilitres of milk. That goes straight into our bowl. Give that a good mix. And what we're looking for is just basic for this mix to come nicely combined. So a bit of milk goes in. And it's as simple as this, right? The suet gives the flavour of the, the dessert. It's absolutely indulgent this in my eyes. It's one of those old fashioned traditional beautiful puddings that's it takes a bit of time to use it to actually cook when you do it a large one, but I'm going to do some little quick ones today, which are basically done by taking a ramekin dish. I'm going to put a tiny bit of oil in there. It can be vegetable oil, whatever. And it's just really there for the cling film to stick. Now, the cling film will make it dead, dead easy to put the pudding out at the ends, right? So, all like normally... <laughs> Sorry about that. All like normally, when you make a pudding, sometimes it can be a bit hard to get out if you haven't greased it properly, but this is actually a foolproof way of doing it. Just like so. And we're going to take our mix. Put our mix in there. Now one little thing I like to do in mine is add a tiny bit of golden syrup as well. Either around the sides or just on top. And it just adds like a bit of like... No, it's, it's a mixture in my eyes between the steam pudding, the syrup pudding, and of course a spotted tape with a bit of moisture, it's absolutely beautiful. Just basically pinch it over together and place this in a steamer. This will roughly take about 25 minutes. Now I've actually got some already steaming as we speak, but while they're just finished off, I'm just going to show you now a quick custard because you can't have spotted dip without a custard. So literally all you need for this is some milk which we've got in the pan. We've got a small amount of vanilla in there already. Turn this back on here. And then simply what you need for this is two egg yolks. So this can be a really nice rich custard this. So that's one in there. Now back in the day, what a great show dinner ladies was. You had the ultimate cast in my eyes back then when it first all started out in 1998. Of course Victoria Wood was uh, based for my hometown as well of Presswich, uh, Berry, uh, Lancashire. But Maxine Peets, Julie Walters was in there. It was a whole Kate Robbins, Sue Devane. The cast was amazing. And the comedy factor that Victoria Wood brought through in a script writing was absolutely amazing. So egg yolks are in there right now. We've got a mixture now of caster sugar and corn flour. That goes straight in there as well. Mix all that together. And then what you want to do now is pour now your hot milk onto your egg mixture. So that was the two egg yolks with the two teaspoons of corn flour and then put this mixture back on the stove now and you're going to cut this out now until it coats the back of a spoon or spatula just in a moderate heat now what I've done actually before is actually I like to uh, transform my custard with a little bit of uh, booziness as well so I've soaked some raisins here and some rum so they've been soaked overnight, rum and raisins, so it's a rum and raisin custard we're actually making up. I'm sure Victoria would, would actually approve of this, you know, especially on a birthday and all that, you know, it's like, you can't be a bit of booze on, uh, on your birthday celebrations. Right, we're going to take on our beautiful steam pudding now. So these have been steaming now for about 25 minutes. Oh my God, these look amazing. Got a ramekin. So all you want to do now is pierce down the cling film. It's very, very hot this, so... I'm just checking the custard. So what you want to do is just warm that custard through, or the, now it's coming through. So the eggs are then cooking out, the corn flour is then cooking out. Just going to pop the 
that's out into a bolt. Oh my lord. So I'll actually put then the syrup on the bottom of mine. Uh, but I say it doesn't really matter where it is because it's all going to go in the same as well. A few little raisins in there as well. And quite simply now, give that final stir. You can see how easy it is as well. Far easier than eating oh, and just opening it in. And there we do now. Pour, oh my lord, this is going to be amazing. Beautiful. Custom over the top there. Finishing off now with those alcoholic rum and raisins soaked in that beautiful alcohol. And we're just going to finish off with a dice of fresh apricots over the top. Victoria Ward, dinner ladies, eat your heart out. This is Nutter's version of Spotted Dick. <laughs>